Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records. And we're talking feuds, musicians fighting with each other. And, you know, this musicians fighting with each other or bandmates fighting with each other has been going on since the beginning of time. You know, musicians are passionate people. And, you know, you get two passionate people together, inevitably they're going to fight. We're talking about the recent feud between uh, Nudo Betancourt from Extreme and Richard Fortas from Guns N' Roses. And I want to say this, this one has a happy ending and I'm glad it does because they usually seem to not have that. I'm going to do some reading uh, from some quotes so I don't get this wrong. You know, again, Nudo Betancourt is a founding member of Extreme, famous for songs like Wholehearted and uh, Rest in Peace and of course More Than Words. He recently has a song called Rise that has an incredible guitar solo, it's a reminiscence of Eddie Van Halen. And, uh, you know, he's a 56-year-old musician who's at the top of his uh, game he's one of the great guitar players of all time so he also has done touring stints with rihanna and so what he's saying and i'm going to read some quotes is that most guitar players can't genre hop within a rihanna show and do a reggae song and then a song that's pop and then a heavy song and keep changing tones he's basically saying that he's great because he can do this and here's what he says I'm sorry most of guitar players who I admire could not in their lifetime play that gig. I mean in I mean that in the most complimentary way possible. Uh, <laughs> he said Slash is one of the greatest rock guitar players of all time, but I guarantee he'd be the first to tell you that if he jumps up and he's got to play a clean intro to Rude Boy, which is a song by Rihanna, it ain't happening. So he's called Slash Out in particular that he's not going to be able to do this type of work with Rihanna that he's been able to do. So what does Slash's bandmate Richard Fortas come out and say? Fortas jumps to Slash's defense saying uh, he has to respectfully disagree with Nudo and insisting there is very little Slash couldn't do on guitar if he wanted to, if he wanted to play Rihanna. Um, and then of course Nudo fires back. I'm responding to this, not because I give a shit about what this guitarist thinks about me, but instead because I hate to think my words may have offended a hero of mine at Slash and possibly effed up my relationship with him. So he's saying he doesn't care what this guitarist, me, Richard Forrest, thinks. Um, he just doesn't want to mess up his relationship with Slash because he's opened his mouth up about Slash. He also goes on to say, at, at, at Fortis, I've, re I've respectfully never heard you play a, a note, one note, I've never heard you play one note in my 50 year, six years of being alive, and I only know your name from the Rihanna camp because Richard had played with Rihanna also. And as a replacement player in Guns. He's never heard him play one note in his 56 years, and he's just a replacement player. So he slams Richard, who's played with the Psychedelic Furs and who has a career of his own, uh, and who's been, you know, just an amazing guitar player for Guns N' Roses for 20 years. And I've seen him plenty of times. He's from St. Louis. Uh, he's a great guy. Now, so he's now ripped Richard personally. Hey, I don't even know who you are. You've been in Guns N' Roses for 20 years, but I don't know who you are, basically. A single note you've ever played, and you're just a replacement guy. And I've heard that you played for Rihanna. So, long story short, you know, Justin Hawkins, who has a, from the darkness, has a great YouTube channel. He goes out last night and puts a long show out together about this feud, uh, describing it, um, you know, Nudo gets a hold of the fact that 
Justin Hawkins is talking about it. It's in the media. And unlike most musicians, he does a heartfelt apology. And he says in a five minute video apology, Ben and Corp describes the whole ordeal as ridiculous. And he takes full responsibility for the stupid shit he said to launch an entire debate. He said, I'm not that guy. I don't want to be that guy. I'm not interested in this shit. It actually makes me sick. Uh, he said, I got home and, and saw the Justin Hawkins show. And uh, this is ridiculous. The bottom line, it's not me. I need to keep my effing mouth shut. He says, Richard, sorry, brother. This is ridiculous. You had a complete right to defend your bro, meaning Slash. And even if it was in the lightest way or whatever it was, you are correct. I don't like hurting people. I don't like talking bad about anybody. He says, everybody's got a lane and everybody's got a place to do what they do. Whether I heard Richard play before, which I hadn't, it doesn't give me the right to make that comment that I hadn't heard a note he had played in my lifetime, even though it was true. But it was me being pissed off, and I think it was just me pissed off in general that I even started this bullshit. So I apologize again, Richard. Uh, he's obviously a great player. He's playing with guns. He's got to be amazing. So he's saying, you know what? You're in Guns N' Roses. You have to be amazing. This isn't me. I'm sorry. I was just pissed. He said, I hope to have a beer with Richard sometime soon and just have a laugh about it because this is just stupid. It's just ridiculous. We're all great players and there's no need for anybody to be effing arguing about anything stupid like this. I reacted kind of of hot. I reacted kind of hot because I probably realized how much of a dumbass I was about saying that Slash uh, about saying that about Slash and playing with Rihanna. And you know, Richard responded quickly and buried the hatchet said it seems that you know, it seems that there's no hard feelings here. Richard commented about Bettencourt's post saying I'm going to contact you directly about making arrangements for that beer. You know. You know, I think it's cool. You know, these guys get microphones in their face and they and, and you have to have an ego to be a Nuno Betancourt or to be a Richard Fortas or to be a Eddie Van Halen. You know, you have a big ego and you probably think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread because everybody since you were about 15 years old has told you that you've been great. And you get on and you talk about your gig and your gig's the hardest. Yeah, you know, what he's saying here is I got no right to do this. I'm running my mouth off. I'm being a dumbass and I'm sorry. And I think it's great that he does that because you know what? It takes it takes some courage to do that. And especially in a rock world where these guys are so hateful to each other, the Nikki Sixes talking about Mick Mars, the Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley talking about Ace Freely, the Gallagher brothers, the the, the Davies brothers the Robinson brothers, you know, other guitar players fighting with other people, Neil Schoen and Jonathan Cain. Anyway, that's my two cents. I do shows every single day. If you like these videos, please hit the like button. Please hit the bell notification. Please subscribe to my channel. Peace out. We'll, we'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.